Happy New Year, gorgeous! Hope your 2015 is off to a grand start, and I wish you nothing but the best for the year ahead. Frugal Fridays will be back next Friday. For this video today, I wanted to share my best beauty discoveries from 2014, and these are from a variety of different areas. I have a couple of hair items to share with you, makeup, skincare, all kinds of good stuff. The first favorite I have to share with you is one product that I cannot live without. It was actually introduced to me by a friend of mine, Gianna. Hi, G! And it has become a go-to absolute essential. It is the Conair Infinity Pro Spin Blow Dryer, whatchamacallit. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> I love this. It has dramatically changed the way that I blow dry my hair. And I don't have to pack a big blow dryer and a big brush with me anymore. That's the other thing I really love about this. You just throw it in your suitcase and go. And if I take this thing off, you can see exactly what it is. It's just a big round brush and the heat comes out from in here. It also has a cold setting so you can use cold also. And it spins when you blow dry your hair. So you put your hair in it and you press the button and it just spins and dries your hair like that. And there's no having to put your arms up in all these weird positions and blow dry your hair. So it saves on your arms too. It doesn't make you tired to blow dry your hair. I love this thing. While we're on the topic of hair, I'll talk about the curly side of things. I have been using a new styling cream that I am thoroughly in love with, and I'm gonna have to buy the full size. It is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. This is my fourth sample that I have gone through. I'm almost out of all of my samples, and I am gonna be buying a full size. What I love about this, not only is it paraben and silicone and sulfate free, yay, but it does a beautiful job in creating the softest, most manageable curls I have ever had the pleasure of experiencing. And that is what I have in my hair today. And you can see how soft, it's just oh, amazing. My hair just feels so, oh! You can't apply too much of it though. I found out the hard way with that. When I first started using it, I put a big old dollop in my hand and I just put it all through my hair but then it got really greasy. So I found out that I had to use a small amount, a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. I use maybe about that much of it, like a half dollar size, run it through my hair to get it completely saturated on the ends, and then I will take an old t-shirt and just scrunch from there until it's dry. And that is the effect that it gives. It has a great scent too. It's, uh, hmm, I don't know how to describe the scent, but it's very light and fresh. Next up, we'll talk about skincare products. And I've had some questions about my skincare routine and things that I use. And I did do a video a little while back of everything that I do use, and I will link it below for you just in case you happen to miss it. But these two products were not included in that video. These are ones that I recently discovered. First that I will talk about is the Burt's Bees Rose Water Toner. Love this stuff. I have been looking for a toner to add to my skincare regimen. From what I understand about toners, they remove excess makeup that you may have left behind from washing, so any residual that you may have in your face, and they also prepare your skin for moisturizing. That's my understanding of what a toner is. And I love the rose water toner. It has an astringent quality in it, so it's really great if you have acne prone skin. I can tell when I have acne on my face, when I apply this stuff, it stings a little bit in that spot, which tells me it's working on that acne. Go get it! It has the most beautiful smell, of course, straight roses. Oh, but if you don't like roses, then you won't like this. It does have a light scent to it. It doesn't stay, it evaporates rather quickly. You can't even smell it after you've applied it. And I think I might have mentioned in a video previously that I've been looking for a great night moisturizer and I was having a lot of struggle in finding one that moisturized, didn't break me out, healed the dry patches on my face, all of those qualities, but I have found it. And it is Clinique's Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. 
Love that. Got a sample of this stuff, started using it, really liked it. I could tell a dramatic difference in my skin when I woke up in the morning. And I had all of the dry patches that would form on my nose, like right up here on my chin. And after I started using this stuff, those dry patches disappeared instantly. So if you struggle with that dry winter skin, this stuff is a miracle. It will not break you out either. Next beauty discovery I have for you from 2014 is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. And the one I have been using is in Black Tea and Blackberry. Bought this on a whim at Sephora. I didn't know how I would feel about it. They had little samples there and I did try some of that and I did like it in the store. But I started using this and fell in love with it. It has an SPF of 25 in it. It's great lip balm. It protects your lips from any kind of dry, chapped, anything that you may get in the winter months especially. I took this with me on my trip to Georgia and used it over and over again. I love it! I think this is actually made for men, if I'm not mistaken. But isn't that always the case? All the products they make for men are really, really great. Like, for example, razors. My husband's razor is the best thing ever. Never cut my legs with it, not once. But women's razors, I don't know what it is. They cannot make a razor for women to save their life, whoever is making these things, because I am constantly gashing up my legs with a woman's razor. But when I use a man's, nothing. There's a conspiracy going on there. Mm-hmm, I smell it. Another awesome discovery from 2014 is the OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener for Soft and Thin Nails. This stuff has saved my nails. I went through a period of about a few months in 2014 where my nails were breaking, chipping, peeling constantly and I couldn't figure out what the issue was. I kept changing my diet, I kept doing all kinds of other things, nothing was working. And so I added this in and that was the only thing that kept my nails from breaking, peeling, and chipping. Another great find for me in 2014 was the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 Black. You may remember from my 2013 favorites video that I talked about the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner. Well, that was my favorite for a while until it started to transfer onto my lids when I would wear it. I'd constantly get these black lines up on my lids and I got real tired of that and it started to flake on me too. So I went on the hunt for a new gel liner, tried several different ones, all of them flaked or smudged or transferred onto my lids until I found the Inglot gel liner. This stuff does not move one bit. It won't smudge, it won't flake, it will not transfer onto your lids. And all of those qualities are exactly what I'm looking for in a gel liner. I love this stuff. Only caveat to it is that it is a booger and a half to wash off your eyes at the end of the day. This is one of those products that requires coconut oil for me usually and the Almay makeup moisturizing remover pads and a facial cleanser. It's a little bit tough to remove, but that's okay. I will pay that price for how great it stays on the eyes. Love this stuff. Another great find for me in 2014 was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. I wish that they made a waterproof version of it. What I do with it currently is I will take a waterproof mascara, curl my lashes, and apply the waterproof mascara first, and then apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex over the top of the waterproof mascara. If I don't do that, then the formula here is too heavy and it weighs my lashes down and then it takes the curl out completely. But if I put a waterproof mascara underneath this, it does hold the curl. And what I love about the Better Than Sex mascara is that it adds a lot of volume and length. I especially like using it on my lower lashes, so. A winner! Another great find is the Laura Mercier Brow Defining Gel in Fair. And I had been looking for a brow gel that matched me completely. It was hard to detect if it was real or if it was fake. And this is the color. So if you have similar coloring to mine and you've been looking for a brow product, check this one out. It's really worth it. I discovered a really great foundation in 2014 and that is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup Foundation. And the shade that I wear is 100 Ivory N. 
And before I went out and bought the Lancome foundation, I could never justify buying a high-end foundation. I thought there was no real difference between the high-end or the drugstore at all. Boy, was I wrong. After you've tried a high-end foundation, it is so hard to go back to the drugstore. That is if you find the right one, because I have tried some that are real doozies out there. But the Lancome Taint Idol gives the most beautiful finish it lasts an extremely long time and you don't need much at all to apply. I think I use about a little bit more than a pea size amount when I do apply this foundation and I've had this bottle for close to I want to say eight months, maybe nine months at this point and I still haven't replaced it yet. So you can see that it does last a long time even with everyday wear. Great stuff! So you're probably wondering at this point what my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2014 were. What did they turn out to be? There are two contenders that I fell madly in love with and I was using a lot in 2014. Could not be without these palettes. And they are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and the Tamana palette from Anastasia. Yeah! The Too Faced Chocolate Bar was one that I actually packed with me when I went up to Georgia for Christmas. I love this palette. The only thing I don't like about it is that they have that little roughed up sheet on there with the names. I wish they would have put the names on the palette. Other than that, I love the mixture of colors in this palette, the endless combinations that can be created with it, the quality. It's great. And if you're trying to decide between this one or the new semi-sweet chocolate bar, get this one. Ten times better. And the Tamana palette from Anastasia has the most beautiful color range in it. I love the compact small size of it. You can't beat the price. It's about $29 for this palette. Amazing quality and great for travel also. So my resolution from last year was to start working out and get in shape, and I kept it. I went all the way through the entire year. I got in shape. I'm really, I feel so much better than I did at the beginning of last year. And several of you have asked me for fitness videos and videos about my diet and those types of deals. So I will be putting together some videos for you in 2015 on those topics. My trainer has volunteered to help me, so I'm so excited to be able to do videos with her and have you meet her also. She is awesome, and I know you're going to love her. And for 2015, I was thinking about what I wanted my New Year's resolution to be this year. And the only thing that I really want to do is there. I bought Adobe Premiere Pro several years ago, and it's an advanced editing program for videos is like really advanced like way up there and it's tough to learn so that is my goal for 2015 I want to teach myself Adobe Premiere Pro let's hope I can do it if I can the videos are going to be looking so snazzy it's going to be awesome let me know what your new year's resolution is if you have one and if you were able to keep yours from last year too hope you found this video helpful Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to a really great, fantastic 2015. Mm -hmm.